Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be driving around um, Barcelona, Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, in um, the Sede Corsa Competizione. I'm going to be in the NSX and um, I just kind of was watching a video yet again and I was like, you know, it's been a while since I've raced this track. Especially with GT3 cars. Been doing it a lot in F1 cars. And uh, might as well give it a go. So I skipped the um, the whole warm up lap or the formation lap and we're right into it already, making up tons of positions. Up into 25th position, gonna try and make up some positions on braking. Oh, doing a bit of lake braking, a little bit of lifting. Probably shouldn't do that, but. Either way, we just barely hold it and make up an extra two more positions right behind the, um, that looks like a GTR. All is going pretty well and we're going for even more. We're going to go for moves on the outside. We see someone is to our left on the radar and we're going to try and make, that was a sketchy move coming in. It was like... A double turn on braking, I'm not sure if that's legal or not. It, it probably... I'm pretty sure you aren't supposed to move while braking, though I'm not sure if it's only on defense. While we're talking though, I had already moved up an extra couple of positions and now we are up into 16th. This is from a starting position of 29th. The AI are on 80% difficulty, I'm still pretty newbie. And I feel like might as well keep them there until I actually win a race, which maybe we do this time, because look at our pace. We're just crushing the AI. Also love to play with super aggressive AI. It just kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. They don't just give in to you. As you can see with that Merc, I'm not sure if that was more of a dive on my part and it not really having the time to react to me. but. Either way, we're going and getting ready for the counter-attack. So, one racing driver excuse I want to get out of the way. My pedals, um, they were slipping forward. It had a bit of... Ooh, what a clumsy overtake, but I'm going to I'm gonna say it was more of a taking revenge on the Merc, and we're going to be better. Either way, I was saying my, my pedals are slipping forward. I recently fixed the problem, turns out there's like a bit of a spike sprit strip that kind of like makes it cling to carpet like surfaces. Just put that down and hopefully next time I race, um, it will just keep getting further and further away from me. It made braking the hardest I think because throttle, you don't really need to smash it down. And I mean I guess you don't technically need to in braking, but it felt like on this car the braking was a lot. I don't know, softer? I think you can see from the bottom right. Yeah, you can. Uh, I've got ABS on. I haven't figured out how to turn that off yet. Um, traction control. Figured out how to turn that off. I don't know what TC2 is or BB50. Oh wait, no, brake bias. I did set that to 50% on purpose. I had noticed that my tires in the rear were getting cold and I figured uh, further rearward Brake bias would keep them warmer, and in this race, it had seemed to have been working. So, we are on lap. We have completed one lap, in an hour in ninth position. It's going pretty smoothly. We're um, gonna see if we can line up a position on this green mark. Not looking like anything's available yet. Just gonna tail him pretty close and see if we can go for maybe an outside move. Nope. Maybe, yeah, we're gonna send it on the inside. Try and leave him the space so he can respond. It's the polite thing to do. And um, we take that little chicane. Is that a chicane? It's a hard left and a hard right. Mm, not sure, I gotta look things up. Either way, come out of that corner real strong and pass that Porsche. It was not too bad, not too bad at all. 
We're gonna see probably if we can outbreak this Ferrari coming into this corner. And look at that. That kind of looks a little weird. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blame it on the shifting pedals. Hopefully next time I can clean up that move. We absolutely power on the inside of, what is that? Is that a Bentley? Aston Martin? Not sure. Either way, we move up on it. I think it is an Aston Martin. And look at that. That dark blue Merc was forced on the inside and then I forced myself out to the outside. The uh, Mercedes retakes the position and the Aston Martin is in a position to challenge me again. This next couple corners allow me to pick up the pace even though I've got dirt on my tires and I'm back to chasing that dark blue Merc. Hopefully we can make a position up. The AI seemed to be pretty slow through here so I was able to make the run and just dive on over. We weren't even too deep but you look at that that was almost a just perfect little move. So now let's see the car ahead is going a bit slow, which leaves the Porsche a bit exposed to my wrath. And I just go around the outside looking to repeat the move. I try and go around towards the inside of the Aston Martin, but it didn't really work. End up coming out behind him, trying to follow through. We look for the outside move again. The Aston Martin blocks it off again. This time we go to the inside leading up to the first corner of the track and make the move stick. Here we have moved up into second and the great sprint is now on to try and see if we can catch up to first place. At this point in time, first place is 10 seconds up the field. We've got to try and make that up. Actually, at this point, I felt like I had it. I was moving pretty quickly through this course, felt pretty familiar. There were some off track kind of moments, but I wasn't feeling too bad. And I started pushing. If you look at my differential, we're up to almost one and a half seconds. Well, botch that corner. If we hadn't botched that corner, would have had a one and a half seconds on my fastest time. Not too bad. This next sequence of corners, you can tell where the AI are being pretty slow. We're up two and seven, three seconds even on our last time. Let's see, this corner was a bit of a problem corner for me. I ended up breaking pretty late and going really wide on it a couple times. We nail it. Not bad at all. Oh, a little bit of an oversteer, but we correct it and we're moving. Let's see. Where are we from first position? I don't... Sadly, don't see a differential to first. I'm pretty sure it updates a little bit later. Either way, we're about to cross the line. We have first place in our sights. And... We've taken... I don't know, a couple seconds off of them. I think we have two laps remaining. Um, this is a 10 minute race, weirdly enough. Um, I, I'm not sure if you can change these AI races into lap races, but um, 10 minutes is still a pretty solid amount of racing time. We've got a lot of time to work on our laps, try and see if we can get some good, oh! And we just went off the side, thankfully, because we had opened the gap up to third. No issues getting on track and not losing position. They do close up behind us, but um, things are still okay. We do get some off-track warnings. Um, not really sure what they really lead to. I, get, I do gotta check. If last time maybe I turned off penalties or something, I'm not sure. 
Not sure if that would have been a penalty or not. Either way, I'm now probably pushing a little too hard. We've got a six second deficit to our fastest time, or on top of our fastest time. We're not doing too badly here though. Trying to make up the time in the corners. Um, and you'll see in this next lap and at a quarter that that six second ish time will be crucial at the very end the leader is on the final lap this is it i've got to start pushing so we're on to our final lap will we nail these corners will we end up flying off the track first corner is coming up how are we gonna take it and we're taking it wide not too wide a little bit it took a little more track than needed or than we should um, and we're still doing pretty well on differential here I was breaking roughly at that orange mark over there and we don't end up sliding off the track this time um, we seem to be carrying a lot of speed not too bad here's another problem corner if you noticed earlier we drifted wide and onto the gravel there just taking uh, that green and the rumble strip here again doing a little bit of braking trying to carry a bit more speed than I was able to following the AI and now we've got a second on our fastest top yeah fastest lap it's going pretty well at this point in time roughly eight seconds behind the leader I'm gonna get a refresh quickly hopefully it'll tell us I think when I was racing this I remember we were roughly four seconds in closing at the end of this lap though we kind of took that last couple of corners a bit too wide too ambitious on the braking or well yeah I guess it's pretty ambitious going up taking it too wide we still end up going even faster just kind of shows you how much I was being held up by the, the traffic and look at that a four yeah four roughly four and a half second difference that means that if we had gone off the track we would have had first or at least we would have been able to fight first anyway i hope you enjoyed i'm sorry about the lack of game sound i tried to make up for it with some music see ya